An overpowered main character with a lot of women followers and a story set in a fantasy isekai world and that too has 18 plus contents and more than that this Japanese anime The Eminence in Shadow has an enjoyable story and entertaining execution to it. Daisuke Aizawa is the author of the anime and at first it was released as a light novel then a manga and finally got an anime adaptation. When I finally noticed this anime, 13 episodes was already released and to my surprise, this the anime was extremely entertaining. This anime belongs to isekai, dark fantasy, comedy, harem, ecchi, action genre and Kasuya Nakanishi directed it and Kenichiro Suhiro did the music. Nexus Studio executed the anime. By exploring the story, at the beginning of the anime, the story centers around a teenage girl named Nishinu. She was a retired rich child celebrity and was popular at school. Our protagonist studies in the same class as Nishinu and he was introduced like an introverted mysterious character. In school, the protagonist was average at everything like in studies and sports, but he was hiding his true potential and powers. In reality, he was an overpowered and intelligent person and he knew most of the martial arts and was good at sports. One day, Nishino was kidnapped by two thugs for money and the protagonist saves her like a vigilante named Stylish Thug Slayer. From that point, the story focuses on the protagonist. From his childhood, he wanted to become stronger. So he start, started to train to become stronger and learned almost every martial arts and was physically good. And he started to beat up thugs like a vigilante, like Batman. And in that journey, he saves Nishino too. He wanted to conquer every possible threat to him. Like what if a group of thugs attacks him, he can defeat them. But what if he was attacked by a gun, he can probably evade the gun. But what about a nuclear weapon, he is helpless there. But he thought if he had magical powers, he had more uh, chances of escaping the nuclear weapon. So he became obsessed with the magic and in that process when he became deluded, he gets hit by a truck and dies. And the main story starts from here. The protagonist gets isekai by Truck Kun and he got reborn in a fantasy world with magic and that too in a low level aristocratic household. He got reborn with his old memories and in that world he was named Sid Kageno. Within no time, he became overpowered in this world and with the presence of magic, he was unbeatable. But Sid liked to behave like a uh, background character in a game. So he doesn't uh, reveal his true powers to much people. He was just like an ordinary boy. But he continues his vigilante like antics in this world too. But this time he goes by the name Shadow. Characters As I said before, Sid Kagano is the main character in this anime. He is kind of like a Sigma male character. He doesn't mind about other people and he have a particular mindset and wants to live like he wanted to. From his childhood, he wanted to become powerful and he became overpowered at the age of 13 in a fantasy isekai world. Sid sees his life as a video game and other people as NPCs or main characters in it. He wanted to become an NPC or a background character or behave like them. But at night, he dresses up as a vigilante named Shadow. When he is in that state, he is just showing off his powers. He likes to kill thugs and sometimes it just feels like he is a psychopath. Sid has an organization working under him and all of the members are female who was either saved by him or by his other followers and all of them are willing to do anything for Sid. And this organization is known as Shadow Garden and in front of his followers he is like an another person. Even though there are a lot of girls following him around. He doesn't mind them, he has other things in his mind. There is no uniqueness to the design of Sid Kageno, it is just like an ordinary character. But when he became Shadow, there will be some noticeable changes to the design of the character. And there are a lot of other characters too, like the main followers of him like Alpha, Beta, Gamma etc. And other girls from schools or society like Princess Alexia or and her elder sister Iris. 
and like that but the main story mainly focuses on sid kagenu animation sound and other things the animation was beyond what i have expected from an isekai anime the quality and flow of animation was remarkable the fight sequences were so nice that i wanted to get immersed in it some of the fights were so cool and others were not up to that mark i think some of the fight must have gone through some budget cuts but overall all the major fights was awesome and beautiful usually isekai anime have less detail in its artwork but this one was so rich in it i felt a life from the world it is it is based on and the artwork was so detailed and beautiful there are some minor details that are remarkable and by coming to the direction and execution i think the studio did a good job by executing this anime it was well paced and had a flow to it i binged watch the anime in half a day and i was very entertained and engaged with this anime and each episode ended in a cliffhanger that created more curiosity in me and the sound department was just marvelous this anime is very rich in sound even small sounds was included the background music and the special effects sound was amazing i like the special effect uh, particularly and it was a treat to my ears and coming to the voice acting the actor seichiro yamashita did the voice of sid kagenu and it was very good his voice modulation and comedy timing was good and it just felt like it was a character for him overall in my overall perspective the eminence in shadow is an amazing fantasy isekai anime which is worth a watch even though this anime has all the ingredients for a typical isekai anime it is very thrilling and engaging this anime has to uh, many flaws too like it doesn't describe how the mc got overpowered he somehow becomes op in everything and they easily dispose of some characters like the nishino girl from the first episode the mc only has girl followers and most of them are in love with him and there is not so much noticeable male characters in the anime all the focus goes to the sid kagenu but somehow all of these are tolerable it didn't cringe me out the comedy in this anime is good and there are something to laugh to and there are some 18 plus scenes in it and it is awesome this anime the eminence in shadow got aired with other big name animes like chainsaw man spy family mob psycho 100 blue lock and the famous bochi the rock but it had a good position in popularity and uh, had its own place among other big name animes that happened because this anime kept its own quality to its story animation and things like that and finally if you want an anime with overpowered main character in an isekai fantasy world with a lot of girls following him around and that too with an engaging and entertaining story with the good quality animation and sound you just need to give the eminence in shadow a chance it's worth the watch